Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Clementine, are, are you alright? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Cody! Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next word very carefully. Please, don't hurt her! Hurt her? I'm not the one who hurts people. There's an ocean of dead between you and me and her, and if I can thank God for anything anymore, it's that. Just hold on, Clementine. I'm coming for you. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. How's that feeling? Not great. My hand is hot. It's thumping a little bit. You seem okay, for now. Yeah, totally. We don't have much time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. He's still bitten. So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. Do we have to cut it off, though? Do we know it works? We don't know anything. Is there gonna be a lot of blood? There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Damn right. Let's do this. If there's a chance it stops you from turning, we have to take it. Hey, I'm laying right here. Sorry. It's not really our call anymore. Yeah, no shit. If we take off the arm, and you don't die of blood loss. Well, maybe you won't die from the bite. What do you think? No. We leave it. Are you sure? Yeah, I feel like I got time. Just keep an eye on me. I get my hands on the bastard who's got Clem. 
be happy to have them both. But you're gonna die. Yeah, but not in here. You guys keep an eye on that door. I'll work on getting us out of here. We? No. This is what we're doing, and I don't want to hear anything else, okay? See if we can make it to an empty floor, or even the roof. Sounds good. Nice and quiet, everybody. There's some light up there. Good. Gotta get my ass off this ladder. You alive? Get up! I'm alive. You have to pull yourself up. Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. Did they follow us here? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Clementine's out there somewhere. Gobbled up in all of that. We'll get to her, Lee. We'll do whatever we have to. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said. And make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. Just need to figure out a way to get there. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. Just need to figure out a way to get there. The hospital must have run out of doctors.
See anything? There's a fire escape here, and that's about it. You came with me. You didn't think I would? It's like you said, Clementine has been my biggest, well, only real fan. I'd be a big piece of crap if I didn't. You still want to die? I'm more afraid of getting someone else killed. I'll make sure that doesn't happen as well as I can. Thanks. I including me? Getting bitten's not that bad. Really? No. It's a death sentence. It's horrible. But try not to worry about it. If we use that bell tower to lure all those walkers towards that side of the hospital, the road to the mansion and River Street shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, okay. But you still have to get over there. What do you think? I think I'm staring down at my worst nightmare. Just a dusty haze of death. Try to keep your shit together. You need to get off this roof. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears a life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Here's a way down. Yeah, if half the dead population of Georgia wouldn't wander in the streets down there. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Huh. Yeah. That could help. Buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. I'll do it. Yeah, Ben will do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Hurry. Yeah, what she said. I'm fine. Try to find another way out of there? It's locked. Shit. The exit in here's locked!
They're coming this way! Tons of them! Jesus! Now get back here! I think I have to jump! There's no way back! You can make it! It ain't that far! It's not that far, just a little hop. Good goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof. Holy... What the fuck? Come on! Just come the fuck on! Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. Who? Fuck! How could this happen? This was Vernon. You think so? Definitely. Hey guys, Lee's right. It was Vernon and that support group. No fucking way! The invalids?! Their actions, uh... Contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their make a wish was a fucking boat ride. When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out. We'll never find them. I can't believe they did this to us. It's sick. It really is. They use your goddamn sympathy for sick folks, and then stab us right in the back! They didn't use shit. They did what anybody would have done. They've been living like ghosts forever, and they were fed up. That's it. He says he feels bad about it. Leaving us, and Clementine behind. They fucked us! Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. Yeah, chill out, Kenny. We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? Get to the countryside. We dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet, so put a pin in that, okay? Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill. Not just you. Chill? Lee's bitten and God knows how long he has left. Clementine is who the fuck knows, and we're robbed of the only hope we've had. So? So Lee should have left your ass in Crawford. We got enough problems. Fuck you, Kenny! Kenny, stop! No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katya and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead. No! You know how they die. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? 
Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse, and I don't know. So give me a fucking break. Oh, Ben, I'm... Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista! Get upstairs. Make sure nobody's here. On it. Kenny! Look for weapons. Gather anything you can find. Will do. Ben! Kill anything that gets in. You know you're talking to me, right? Ben, just do it! Omi! What is it? Front doors! Lee! Help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Take their goddamn arms off! Now what? Get ready to fight. This place seems sturdy to me. I think we're fine. Sturdy my ass! Get upstairs! Go! Guys, help me with this! Dropped it down there. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the Third, Industrial... Need? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access. A vent. Anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Whoa, Lee. You okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm... I'm gonna... have to... 
Get up! Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. What did that mean? She's at the hotel where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her yet. Yeah, yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Like I said, everyone needs to keep looking for a way out, damn it. We're trapped in here. How long you think we have? What? I... I don't know. You should have cut it off. At least then there would have been a chance. Well, you didn't. And it's too late now. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey. Look, we could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not gonna do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't gonna happen. How do you know that? Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! Ah! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. We're not lifers on- This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well... We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. If you were me, you'd be a foot taller. Hey! And about 50 pounds heavier. You, uh, wouldn't get scared as much. With your arm and my leg, I'll cripple fight you right here, buddy. I would have had to chop this one off for you to even stand a chance. Wish you would have taken it off? Don't think it matters much now. I'm losing a lot of feeling in it. Really? Yeah, it's hot, like when you break a bone. But tingly, like it's asleep. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We just get them in time, that's the focus. Despite how I feel, I, I, I can't let vengeance be the thing. Sure. It's not that easy. We'll do whatever it takes. And, you know, whatever happens to you... Uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? 
The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I'm bitten, Krista. We all know that's a wrap. There's gotta be something. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? What about him? We uh, gotta support him. He's only a kid still. It's easy to forget that. He loses shit like that often? That was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. The kid killed his family, so there's been some tension there. Really? What happened? Kenny's son got bitten during a raid by some gang that Ben was secretly helping. They used him. Kenny's wife died because of their son. Jesus. Well, seems like it got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh... I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. It'll be all right, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. He wanted to die. In Crawford. What's that now? When I had it there, in my hand. He wanted me to drop it. He asked me to. Oh, Jesus. What? I'm glad it was you making that call and not me. <laughs> Does Scott tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. The aforementioned Larry fella? See, Lee and I got trapped in a fucking meat locker with him. He had a heart attack, so there's this guy who, I should say, was built like a brick shithouse. And we're terrified he's gonna come back and eat all of us. What did you do? We were resourceful. Larry didn't make it out. No, he did not. We did, though. It's all water under the bridge. All we can do is move forward. Well, cheers. I'm through! No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... Keep moving. Gotta go. Yeah. We've seen so many people. I don't know why these ones break my heart. 
What's heartbreaking is not giving yourself a chance. It's what Katya did. Jesus. I'm sorry, Kim. She left me. My son. People that cared about us. I forgive her, but it don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it, because it's hard. You stick it out, and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. Uh, we're not going out this window. Judging by the decor of this room, I guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' house looked a lot like this. And they watch kung fu movies. Just saying. Hard to believe the world once felt this peaceful. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead. Fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? Kenny and I can handle this. Dude, let me help you. You're already hurt. Even more reason we all don't need to risk it. You worry about her. And if all this goes bad, you might be Clementine's last hope. Will. Keep an eye out. Ow! Um, I'm okay! I'm okay! Just get me out of here! Shh! Quiet, Ben! Or they'll be on top of us! Yeah, try to keep your mouth shut. I'm sorry. Just get me up. My legs hurt, I think. We're gonna get your ass up. Really? I thought you... Fucking hell. What is it? I'm okay. I'm okay. We can get you up. We can, uh... Ow! Oh, God! Just yank him off that thing. What? Fast. Like a band-aid. Do you think... <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> oh God, don't let them get to me! Do you have any bullets left? This has only got one left in it. 
I'm out! Shit! Get the fuck out of here. What? Go back! She needs you, Lee! Kenny! This is not a discussion! Hell no, man! I'm not leaving! What did I just say? Let's get bit and get out of here! What the fuck, Kenny? Lee. Lee, it's okay. No, kid. No, it's not! It's just something I gotta do. You know that. Go get that girl. Back, you sons of bitches! Damn it, kid! God damn it! What happened? I couldn't do anything. Ben was really messed up. Kenny couldn't leave him and... It was just fucked. God damn! God! I heard a shot. Kenny made sure that Ben didn't feel any more pain than he had to. What? What was Ben's biggest fear, you know? Kenny had one bullet and that's how he used it. God, poor fucking kid. You saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. It wasn't a bad guy. A lot of folks might not have always agreed. Maybe even me. We should go. Right behind you. Do you want to talk? Kenny was my friend. He could be tough to like, but I agreed with him most of the time. So, we were assholes together, I guess. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. Yeah, you do. Let me take all the risks. That's not what I mean, necessarily. It's what I mean what we gotta do. Fuck. Be careful across here. River Street's just up ahead. Whoa, careful. Even the buildings are full. You never know where the next meal is. 
guys. Be careful through here. Yeah, we don't need any more accidents. I'm sorry. It's okay. Marshall's hotel is round the corner of the block. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg, and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Just go nice and slow. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. for it going for it what does that mean it means I'm already bitten I just have to push my way through what the fuck let's meet outside of town by the train are you nuts it's the only way do you hear me yeah by the train Jesus we'll be there
got us adjoining rooms. Where is she? I already told you, she's fine. You look horrible. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? Yeah. I know who you are. You saw my car out front then. You see anything else you want in there? Not a whole lot left. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes, of course. Who? My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I hurt her a long time ago. How? In a lot of ways. She traveled for work. I didn't like that. I wanted a family. A reasonable thing to want. So we fought, and it made my biggest fear come true. Got sick one day on my way to class, canceled it and went home. Found her there with someone else. Killed him. I was mad at her for so long, and I can't imagine how much pain she felt. How about you? I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her. So bad. And then we came back. And all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them. A day later, in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. I was trying to find some place safe for her. 
You let a boy get yanked out of a window and into the night so you could protect a pretty girl with a gun. You weren't there. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died! I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. It doesn't have to be this way. You can't take care of anyone. After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. No. Shut up. It makes sense. It's not happening. Let us go. No. No, I don't think so. You're going away, and we're starting a new family. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad, too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> Somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Cleo, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Hey. You 
weren't afraid. I was. You didn't act like it. I know. I am now. It's okay. Savannah. Get you cleaned up as soon as we can. Not soon enough. Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. There. That should do it. I hope so. Missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. Don't be dead. Please, no! 
Lee. I, I was so scared. I, I, I thought you left me. I, I, I saw my parents. I know. They didn't get to you, right? No. Well, we got away. They're dead, for sure. Clementine, we have to get out of here as fast as we can. Well, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One. Two. Three! <laughs> See? Clementine. Honey. What, what what happened? No, 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 that's that's not no 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 Yes, Clem, it is I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm supposed to take care of you. I can't now. I know. a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. There's a chair over there. Use the bat to shatter that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. 
his job. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. Yes, it. You're smarter than all of them. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the log. Find Omid and Krista. 
They're outside of town, by the train. You remember how to get back there? Yes. Good. They'll take good care of you. And Clem. Keep that hair short. I will. I'll cut it myself. Great. Good. And also... What? What is it? No, don't worry. All right. Oh, it's you. Me too. The air is thin So we'll find a mountain path On down the hill Meet me where the snow melt blows It is there, my dear Where we'll begin again Skip and stop Where the chill 